We get damaged. Okay, lose half, lose one, health three, two, one, and zero. Perfect. Welcome back everyone. I'd just like to firstly thank everybody who subscribed recently. Uh, it means a lot to me and I hope you guys are enjoying my content. So, um, this tutorial is going to go through how we might show some lives on the screen, okay? Because this little text that says health zero, I'm not a fan of it. So, um, yeah, I'm going to get straight into that. So what I've done is I've quickly whipped up a few hearts that I've drawn, okay? And they have, this is when they're filled and this is when they're not filled, okay? Now if we go back in here, I'm going to um, drag these in, so I'm just gonna, we just got these in here and I'm gonna quickly uh, fix up some of the assets. So um, in my canvas, I'm gonna create a UI image, okay, and I'm gonna call this my life UI, okay. I'm going to drag this over to the corner. All right, probably set that. Oh, put the width to about 200. Um, cool, that's pretty fine. I'm gonna move it out just a little bit. And I'm going to get rid of our alpha, okay? I don't want anything in here. So I'm gonna remove that. And in here, I'm just going to grab our... Okay, so I'm going to create a new UI. It's going to be an image and I will call this um, Lives Empty. So we put our... I can't spell empty apparently. Oop, this isn't a... Sprite. So we actually need to make sure this is a sprite, okay? And a sprite, because apparently these didn't import automatically, but that's okay. So we've got this in here. Um, they were pretty gross, <laughs> so I'm just going to do that. Put them out a bit. All right, might just shrink that a bit. Um, I might make it a bit smaller. All right, cool. So we have this and I just want to duplicate that and change that to this. So this will be lives filled. Okay. And we're going to go into our image type and change it to filled. And I'm going to change it to horizontal. So if we grab this fill amount and drag it, look at that. It's going to fill and unfill our uh, lives, which is exactly what we want. <clears throat> now, we need to make a, a script so we can control this. So I'm going to create a new script in my scripts folder. So I'm just going to call it health UI controller. Okay. And I'm going to drag it in. So if we open this up, and drag it over. We have this very empty little code. So um, we want to get a reference to our fill. Okay, so I can grab a public game object, and this is going to be our uh, heart container. Oh, I can't spell <laughs> heart container. Okay. And uh, we probably, we want to float as well. This is going to be private. So it's going to be a private float and it's going to be, I guess, the fill value. Okay. Um, so what we're going to do here is I'm going to set the fill value. It's going to equal to, um, if we go over to our... Go over here and we go to our game controller. We've got our health and max health. Since we have three lives and we want them to decrement by 
half a life each time, just like in Binding of Isaac. I'm going to set it to six, okay? And our current health will be six as well. So, we're going to set the fill value to... Um, we're going to make it a float. So, put it a float of our game controller dot health, okay? And um, now that we have that, we want to set it equal to our fill value, which is our float value for our health, divided by our game controller dot max health. And what this is going to do is this is going to put it into a, if we go back in here, okay, it's going to put it into a value between 0 and 1, okay, based on how much um, health we lose. If we go back in, now that we have our heart container, okay, we're going to get the component and we're going to grab the image component of it, okay, whoop. But there's a problem. I don't think it understands what an image is, and that's because we have to use our Unity Engine dot UI. Okay, so we're gonna grab the image, and we're gonna grab the fill amount, and we're gonna set that equal to our fill value. Okay. So if we go in now, whoop, and we set our lives filled and we run the game and we get damaged okay lose half lose one health three two one and zero perfect that's exactly um, what we'd expect it to do uh, we could go through and create like a if you don't want this you could have like a health bar so it like slides down okay instead and we could like lerp it so it doesn't like minus like if we go like 0 0.833 whoop, right it doesn't go straight to half it'll like slide down to half over time um and the way you could do that is you could just uh grab a math f dot uh, lerp and that should do it nicely for you um so yeah i this is a pretty short one today but um this is gonna lead into creating some further enemies and maybe creating some better shooting uh fixing a few bugs okay and eventually it'll lead into creating our map okay so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did leave a like uh leave a comment um and yeah i guess i'll see you guys next time